So hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me out on the bank, it's first thing in the morning and we're in search of Mr Carp. So as you can see on the screen now, you do join me on a beautiful morning on the bank. The sun just about to break over the horizon over the pools. There has been an overnight frost as you can see on the car and we have got a few hours this morning to hopefully make contact with Mr Carp. So as you can see there, that sun is now just breaking over the horizon. A bit of behind the scenes with Daddy's angling vlog. And that is the peg we're going to fish today. You can see from the side tray, which I'll have a look in a minute, nice and simple. But I was going to say a bit of peace and quiet, but <laughs> Mr Bird has just broken that. You can see there's plenty of signs of fish on the pool. Small fish. We've got bubbles there where either fish have been feeding or the birds have been you know fighting during the night but yeah for a few hours in the morning that's where we're going to be sat tactics wise i'm going to keep it nice and simple to begin with i'm just going to do an underarm cast just into the shadow of this tree just to see if any of these bubbles are feeding fish keep it nice and simple we've got a feature down the margin there with the willow which we can cast to and i do know a lot of carp like getting up this margin as well so we've got three different areas of the peg that we can target. The rod that we're using is the cordon all around the quiver and in the end we've got the one ounce tip and that's down to a cordon method feeder in 25 gram. You can see there we've got the pellets on top and we're going with a pink pellet on a band. A simple short hook link, a quick change bead and I forgot to mention at the start we have got a bit of the boilie crumb in there as well just to give it a bit of smell. Looks like we're in for a beautiful morning we're just in on the first cast and I'm just going to sit and just look for any activity. So we're about 40 minutes in now and we've not had as much as a liner. We had two casts out there and we're on the second cast down this margin here off the willow. I've not seen any more fish move and to be honest, I'm willing Mr Sunshine to get on the pool. It's when you begin to think that overnight frost has really had an impact. So we've been fishing for nearly getting on two hours now and it is getting to decision time. We haven't got long this morning. Not seen any activity on the pool. I've seen one carp move, which has been down there and there's been zero activity on the tip. I've just had a little bit of a mooch up to the pool to the right and that is the beauty of this complex. There is a number of small pools you can move to. There's rowing there and yew tree down the bank. So in the interest of having not much time, I had a look on there and there's some fish bubbling. So there is activity on that pool. So we'll have a cast down there, see what we get. But if we don't get any more signs of the fish, I think you'll join me in a bit when I move some of my gear onto that pool. So the rod's out the water and no more signs were forthcoming and you've got to trust your instincts and you know, put the effort in and move. So we're just going to move on to that pool there. While I'm doing that, I'll play a bit of footage from a recent session where I visited Hampton Springs. just shows what a difference a move makes coming on the pool there's a couple of bubblers and I've just dropped that feeder nice and short just in front of me underarm little chuck I've left myself plenty of options for the, the session to go over there that hasn't taken too long for that tip to go around and you can see here there's plenty of sun on the pool <laughs> and we probably would have got bites on willow had we stayed but with only a short session, it is about getting a bend in the rod. And sometimes it's just about trusting your gut instinct and being proactive. 
and having that get up and go to carry the gear to the new peg and trust that it's not working because the tactics are definitely right and the fish in this pool are definitely awake. First carp of the day and after an hour and a half, two hours on the other pool it's good to get a bend in the rod. The only trade off with this pool is the fish are smaller. It's been beautiful sat in that sun this morning watching the world come awake, the birds singing and now we've got that bend in the rod. It hasn't taken too long to go around again just flicking it out just in the shadow of that tree starting nice and easy and leaving us with plenty of options to get a few bites. The sun's out and it's certainly a lot warmer now on this pool than it was on the other one. So there we go the second carp of the day and just coming off that spot just 10 yards from the bank there taking it nice and easy and yeah it just shows what a difference moving makes the fish are awake the pool's definitely warmer i feel warmer and good fun so while i've been trying this short line i've been pinging pellets against that far margin had a cast over well i've had two or three actually to be honest with you and eventually that tip's gone round with another bite. I knew when I moved onto the pool that the benefit of coming on here was you will normally get a good response, but they can spook. And I think that's what's happened after that second carp. But sticking with it, we eventually got another one on the bank. A stunning little carp that is. Lovely colours, the yellows and the reds and the oranges. Proper made up with that one and great to get that bend in the rod after such a quiet morning. Let's get it back, let's get the rod out there, we've probably got about 15 minutes left and see if we can get another one. 